Wow, have you noticed all these crazy Intel ads directed at Apple? Take a look. Let's see over here. So these are the newer Macs? Yeah. Okay, so gray and gray. I cannot believe the way they are slamming Apple and Intel's has even hired the actor Justin. You remember him? I the problems my last operating system had. Trust me. I feel like I've heard this before, PC. What? Windows Vista. That's right. He's the same actor that Apple had way back in the day when they were running their ads, I'm a Mac and I am a PC. I want to say first off that Justin is a very good actor. He's been in a lot of different commercials and movies, so I'm not picking on him. Uh, you know, everybody's entitled to do whatever work they need to do. And like I said, this is not directed toward him. I like, I like Justin, he's a good actor. This is directed at Intel. And really, the way that they're going about this is pretty childish in my opinion. And the reason why I say this is that Apple has been working on their own silicone for a long time. And it's, and it's in many of their products, like the iPhones, the iPads, the new Mac Mini, uh, the MacBook Air, the new MacBook Pro 13 inch. So it shouldn't, you know, big surprise to Intel that Apple's been using Intel well over a decade now for their processors. And let's face it, uh, you know, when Apple made the switch from the PowerPC Max IBM chips, you didn't see IBM slamming Apple uh, with silly childish ads, as you can see currently with the Intel PC versus Mac ads now. There are lots of PC companies out there that use Intel processors, and I think that this ad campaign is just a knee-jerk reaction. Should Intel be concerned? Probably. But it's not likely they're going to go bankrupt overnight because of the new Apple silicone chips. And I think Intel, instead of running the childish ads, should take that money and spend it toward R&D rather than wasting it on advertising. Because if you notice, and all these ads, there are some particular points that they never touch. Number one is how the Intel processor chips get very hot. Their thermals are not great and that's no secret. Point number two, they never ever talk about the processor speed in these new M1 chips because they're very fast compared to the Intel flagship processors. Face it, Intel's architecture has been the same for a long time. Point number three, battery life. Apple's new silicone chips are extremely much more energy efficient than Intel's current architecture that demands a lot of energy. I think Intel should be worried about AMD as well. I think it's really funny. I work for a private doctor's office and many of our patients work or used to work for Apple or the rest of them, they work for Intel. And I can tell you firsthand that almost every Intel employee that I have ever helped, guess what computer they use at home? That's right, a Mac. And now with that being said, we all know that Macs, like any other computer, they have their limitations. And like with any other computer, you need to do your homework on which computer system you buy. There are many companies out there that offer desktop systems or laptops, or even if you prefer a tablet, but if you prefer a PC, that's fine. Everybody has their own opinion. Me personally, I'm a Mac user, and I've been a Mac user since 1984 when I got my first 128K Macintosh. I use a PC at work, but I really appreciate the ease and usability of a Mac. So Intel, this is my opinion. This is a bit of advice to you. Please quit rolling out these childish ads. And if you're going to continue with these ads, then you need to compare your processors to the other competitors' processors, your battery performance to the other competitors' battery performance, your heat performance to the other competitors' heat performance, whether it's Apple, silicone chips, AMD, or whoever other manufacturer is out there. I'm just suggesting you spend your money wisely because it may come back to haunt you if you do not change your ad campaigns and childish behavior. It would better serve you to stick to the facts and don't Photoshop Apple computer products like you have been doing in some of the ads that are currently running. This is my opinion, whether you like it or not. Everybody is entitled to their opinions. So on that note, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also click the notification bell. I really appreciate it. And 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.